promotional consideration paid for by the following. Hello and welcome once again to Quick Shot Reviews. Once again, I am your host, Luke, and you are here because you want to find out about the latest movies and what I think of them. So I thank you very much for that. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe, click the like button and do all the youtube type stuff. And if you want to find out what I thought of West Side Story, join me for the main part of the video. So, West Side Story was directed by Steven Spielberg and it was released in 2021 at the same time, roughly, as Spider-Man No Way Home. So you can imagine that not many people have been to see this, only the diehards. I've never seen the original, so I went into this as a complete neutral. I uh, will give you my thoughts on this film as we move through the review but I'm just going to go through the basic plot line for you. An adaption of the 1957 musical West Side Story. Uh, it explores the forbidden love and the rivalry between the Jets and the Sharks, two teenage street gangs of different ethnic backgrounds. And it is basically that. It's the ethnic divide and how they go about doing uh, all the things that they do that they know and it's it's very much one being the original gang and the others coming in from a different country in this case I believe it's Cuba and uh, yeah it's it's cool it's got dancing it's got uh, musical bits in it it's a musical I imagine this one is very good on stage and that is my first point I think this one this as a film it it does work really well but i think it would work much better as a musical and um i would quite like to go and see this as a stage show obviously that's where it started and we've got the film the original film and then steven spielberg remade it in 2021 it doesn't change anything the sets are absolutely beautiful as you can imagine steven spielberg come and direct my film, here's all the money that you like, and that's basically how it goes. Now, it does explore a lot of different things, um, some that are quite close to the bone, um, so if you are planning to go and see this film, or you know, watch it when it comes out on streaming, or buy it, or whatever, um, do be aware that there are some very tough scenes, because they don't change them for 2021, which I absolutely respect. And uh, yeah, I really quite liked this film. It is basically Romeo and Juliet uh, for a new time. Um, you know, the forbidden love and all that kind of stuff. It's just uh, there's a lot of dancing and, and, and things in, in between. Now, there is a little bit of bloodshed with the gang wars and things like that. And the, the fight scenes are still pretty cool. The, the dancing, the choreography is absolutely amazing and some of the actors and actresses in this film have very good careers either on stage or in film. Ansel Elgort plays Tony the main uh, protagonist and then you've got Rachel Ziegler or Ziegler playing Maria and then you go bit further down you've got Ariana DeBosa playing Anita who is the old lady who runs the store that Tony works in. Uh, David Alvarez plays Bernardo. Rita Marino plays Valentina. Actually Valentina is the uh, old lady I believe. Hush my mouth. You see this is you know I'm not I wasn't a huge fan of West Side Story like I say went into this 
film absolutely blind, but I did really enjoy it. Uh, Officer Krupke, Bri play, played by Brian Darcy, Darcy, not Darcy, but Darcy James, um, and Corey Stoll plays Lieutenant Shrank. And then you've got Mike Faced playing Riff, and it just goes down from there. And basically, all of the cast members do their bit, and it is, it is really good. And I really enjoyed it, and I can't say that enough. Um, I actually probably enjoyed this a little bit more than I thought I was going to. Um, it's not something, that being said, it's not something that I'm going to go out of my way to watch again. It was good, it was an escape, it was really well made, and it's everything that you would expect from a Steven Spielberg movie. Um, so, um, like I say, uh, like it's directed by Steven Spielberg. It's got really good characters in it. Um, the singing, the dancing, everything is just, it's, it's spot on. It, it, it's a story that's already been written. Can't really go wrong. It's been updated ever so slightly for 2021 in terms of the visuals. But apart from that, it's West Side Story. So if you like the original, um, now I went to go and see this with a friend and He's seen the original and he didn't like the movie, but um, didn't think it was as good as the original. I've never seen the original, so this one for me is the definitive version. That being said, like I said earlier, I'd like to go and see this on stage. It makes me wonder, though, that if I ever went to New York for whatever reason, whether if there was like if I witnessed a gang fight or something like that, whether they'd actually have a gang fight or whether they'd actually just break out into ballet it's a question that i probably don't want to find out the answer to to be fair um because i don't want to be in the middle of a gang fight but there you go um and that is my review it's well worth watching definitely um my overall rating of this film is go watch it uh, make up your own mind it's good escapism from all of the Marvel and Disney films that are coming out back to back to back all the time. So it's nice to have something slightly different in the cinema. Um, so yeah, that is that is everything from me. I hope you've enjoyed the basic review. I'd ever give away spoilers or anything like that, and that's just me talking about the film and what I enjoyed about it. And sometimes what I didn't enjoy about a film. So um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you continue to subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, please click that subscribe button. We are three over 3,000 subscribers strong at this point in time, which I never thought I'd say. Because um, it's been a, a very quick and drastic ride since I uh, started the channel. But thank you to each and every single one of you for continuing on this journey with me. Um, so yeah, do all the YouTube type stuff. There will be more in 2022 with regard to film than you could shake stick at, bearing in mind for the last two years we've, we've missed a huge chunk of cinema time uh, um, and I've got some movies that I've just happened to have watched um, on downtime basically. So uh, there's loads more. We're going to have another Easter special. We're going to have another Christmas special as well. So, and maybe even a Halloween special where I go through the rundown of all the Halloween films. Maybe. Because, <laughs> of course, Halloween ends in 2022. Once again, thank you very much for watching. I've been your host, Luke. And this has been Quick Shot Reviews for Cheap Shot Entertainment. Make sure you go and check that channel out as well as the gaming channel, Cheap Shot Entertainment System. And I will see you next time, film fans. Goodbye.
Bye.